going on everybody? Uh, crazy times we're living in right now with the advent of coronavirus and the worldwide pandemic. It's causing a lot of us to stay at home and be inside and it's not fun, especially for me who always likes getting out and taking pictures and everything. But I thought it would be a perfect time to kind of step back, uh, do a lot of editing, especially as far as pictures, and um, teach a little bit, especially what I use to go out into the field and take pictures with on a day-to-day -day basis. Having moved to Colorado, it's crazy the opportunity you have shooting just about anything you want to, especially in a day's time. So the kit that I've built for that allows me to be able to go out there and if an animal comes up or if I, if I spot a beautiful landscape or there's a beautiful flower, I can take pictures of all of it. So this first video I'm gonna do um, is gonna be basically what on a daily basis I take out with me to take photographs with. So um, with no much, no further ado, um, again, in one day I could take a landscape picture or a wildlife picture or a macro picture or anything. So I kind of like my kit to be geared where I'm able to do that. So when it comes to the wildlife side, I have my D500, which I use um, pretty much for a lot of things, especially hummingbirds. It's really great for that since it can do the frame per second pretty quickly. And of course, I also have my 600, which allows me to keep distance. Uh, a lot of people don't realize that wildlife can be dangerous and you've got to keep a pretty good distance between it or you can get hurt. Uh, I see it all the time. I've been at this park where people with their camera phones want to get really close to a bull elk and they ended up killing one recently. Um, the park, the, not the park, but the city did because someone had gotten close to one of the bulls and the bull attacked her. Luckily it didn't hurt her or harm her and knocked her down. It was pretty gentle, especially for an 800 pound animal. But um, long lenses like 600s, 800s, 400s, um, they allow you to get up close and personal without being up close and personal. That's why we use them. Um, so that's kind of like over the wildlife side. So in my other bag, since of course the 600 has its own bag being so large, I have my D850. And I pretty much use this for a lot of things. Um, it's got the built-in time-lapse feature. So of course, a lot of people, you may not know, but I take a lot of time-lapse photography and it makes it a lot easier having that built-in. Um, on the macro side and on the landscape side, it's got focus dis distancing built-in, which allows me to have like a crystal clear picture of something that has, you might have to take picture with narrow depth of field. So for example, if you're taking a macro of a flower and you look at it, only a slight part is gonna be in focus. What this, the camera will do automatically is move back and forward internally, which allows for the whole flower to be in focus. And it's a really cool feature. It's one of the reasons why I like it. Um, so that's the D850. Uh, my go-to lens for a lot of things is the 7200. This is a version three. And I had the version two. I've used a Canon. I've used a Sony. Um, all really good lenses, but there's something special about this lens. It's one of my favorite lenses. Um, you can use it for wildlife. You can use it for portraits. Um, I love using it for panoramas, especially when you just and stitch it together and it's just it makes some beautiful pictures so that's what I have for that um, I also have my uh, 24 1.4 um, and this is great I use this a lot for Astro um, you can use it for portraits it's got multiple uses Astro is really good though for this lens what else do I have in here I have the harness because of lots of times, it's a lot easier if I have the, the 600 on its tripod, that's a lot of weight. So I can just put this on, sling around the 70 to 200, and then I have access to two cameras pretty easily, readily available, it makes it a lot easier for me. I also have a really cool 200 millimeter Nikon macro 
Um, and it's really nice too because you can kind of set up further, especially if it's something like a butterfly or, or any kind of thing like that, or even a flower, and there's a butterfly on it and you don't want to intrude, it's really good for being able to sit back further but get that close up picture. So it's really nice to use. And then what else do I have? Oh, without the top, the 14 to 24, this is my go-to landscape. And it's also really good when it comes to getting time-lapse, especially a wide time-lapse. Um, the cool thing is because the D850 shoots in 4K, well, actually, I'm sorry, let me take that back. Because the pictures I pull out of it are in 8K, it allows me to actually have really cool zoom in effects when I make the videos of the time lapses. Because I can zoom into 4K, or if I'm making for 1080, I can zoom in eight times. Um, so it allows for, that's another reason why I like the D850, because of the 46.7 megapixels, allows me a lot of movement inside my time lapses. And that's kind of a cool feature. So 14 to 24 running out of space here and then the 100 macro um, this is the one that i get close in and personal um, the funny thing is that for the focus stepping i can't do that with the 200 um, maybe because it's an older lens but with the 100 i can do it with and it's it's fine it works out really really well but um, I always keep this about because you never know when I'm going to run into pretty flowers and just beautiful things like that. So that's what I use for that. So pretty much that's the kit, part of the kit that I carry around with. Um, sometimes I take a pan tilt slider and I'll introduce that later because I'm actually wanting to do a video showing how I do tam time lapse. Because time lapse you can do in two different ways. Um, if you have enough size in your pictures, you can actually do the move, movement in post-production. But the other cool thing is that you can use a pan tilt slider and have the camera actually moving as it's doing the time lapse. And that is, to me, sometimes a more natural feel. Um, it's, it's less robotic. It just, it looks better. And um, so I plan on doing a video showing that aspect too. Um, in the upcoming week, since I'm stuck at home too, there will be videos on editing, um, how I edit different types of pictures, be it wildlife, landscape, um, and anything in between. I will also uh, be try doing editing live on YouTube, see how that works out. But trying just a different bunch of things, just showing off how I do things. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, if you want to follow me on social, my Instagram is enigma underscore photos. And I hope you have a, rest, a restful day and stay safe out there.